Hey, y'all. If you ain't been chasing the money, you ain't been chasing M's, I don't know what you've been doing. And if you have been chasing money, props to you, baby. But I got another Chase M's mindset for you. He's an artist out of Genesee County. Hey, he's here. Chase M's in the building. Hey, y'all gonna get ready for this one, y'all. Episode 78. I'm here with the man. Yeah. Chase M's, everybody. Yeah, let me let me get that motherfucking shirt off. <laughs> <sighs> I fucked with it though. Hey, appreciate you coming through. Yeah, appreciate sure. you coming through. Chase M's, everybody. Chase M's. Woo! Yeah, I've been chasing for a minute. I've been chasing for a minute. I appreciate that. Hey, talk to the people, man. Where did where did the uh, the Chase M's mindset come from? So. Uh, my music, it, it started back, like, my freshman year. Uh, you know, I, I actually started as, like, Cold Fire, and I ain't gonna lie, that was my dog shit. Yeah? Like, Cold Fire was an album? Was your album? No, uh, so that was my first artist name, so I switched up artist names a few times. Yeah. So, I had Cold Fire, that was back my freshman year, I was just fucking around with it, you know. Cold Fire, like, getting the hot, but getting the cold. Exactly, it was, like, an oxymoron, and I was like, oh, you know. Like, I heard uh, Schoolboy Q's oxymoron. Yeah. And, like, you know, I was like, damn, like, you know, I, I got to think of something. I thought it was catchy, and, you know, I'm not going to lie. That shit was some dog shit. So, after that, uh, I did that probably till like, my sophomore year. And then after that, like, you know, a lot of people weren't fucking with it. No? Like, no, I'm not going to lie, though. I don't blame them. It, it was trash. But do you think that they didn't, they didn't, it was more or less, like... They want to see consistency, so maybe they might not, maybe they might not have not liked it, but it might have been a shock. Like, oh shit, he's doing music now. Or, so I'm not gonna lie. I mean, maybe it could be both, but my thing is like, I think all overall in general though, just poor quality. Like, yeah. lyrics weren't that great. Uh, you know, there was no flow, and like. You know, I'll get later into it, but uh, Green Green Spence, he... Uh, the scientist. Yeah, he, he was the one that put me on with, like, you know, showing emotion in my music. And, like, he, he works a lot with my music. So, like, you know, it's it's nothing but love for him. But, uh, so after Cold Fire, so after my sophomore year, I just, like, I cut it. And, you know, back, I want to say, like, my freshman year of college, I got back into it. And I started working down, you know, in the Flint area. Uh, I worked with uh, Caden, but you know, were you were you always from uh, Flint? Did you grow up in Flint? Yeah, I grew up in the Flint area. Okay. Uh, I didn't go to school in Flint, but that's you know that's like where I grew up and stuff. My mom for uh, court took her away and shit. Where'd you where'd you end up growing up? So uh, I went to school down in uh, Davidson. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm, pop I'm I'm familiar with Davidson. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, it's, like, 15 right there from Flint, but, I mean, yep. you know, I, I've lived at a few places in Flint and Burton and stuff. Yep, yep. But, uh... Right around the corner. Exactly. So, you know, uh, my freshman year of college, I picked it back up. I went into Swiper, and, you know, I I definitely had a lot a lot of growth what, at what, Swiper. What is Swiper? That was just uh, a nickname I got from a few boys. Okay. So... My, uh, I did that for about like a year, year and a half, uh, released a couple songs. I made probably like more songs with that than I did with Cold Fire. Like Cold Fire, I made probably three songs. You just knew, you just knew it wasn't, wasn't Yeah, it, and I just think like, after the three songs, like, yeah, like, nah, like I'm just wasting my money at this point. So. So I, uh. I ended up releasing like a few more songs and recording more shit with Swiper. Thing is, like, I didn't start out good. Like, you know, I thought the lyrics like were fine, but like, you know, the quality of my voice and like the quality of production, like, and I'm not, I'm not coming straight at production or nothing. That that ain't that. Like, no. Yeah. You know, it's more so of an inexperience of the artist. Do you get stage fright still? <sighs> not it's as all, much. It's, it's okay because they're they're. So we have... I, you know, June fifth. 
B2, that's gonna be my first concert. Hey, volume two, y'all. If you yeah. don't know, now you fucking know. Y'all better turn up. Hey, my shit. man's gonna open this shit right up like a goddamn can of worms. I'm telling you. Volume two, Trusty Vintage Flea Market, uh, June 5th, 1537 South Washington Ave at the uh, Mexican American Council Building. Make sure you come on out and check yeah. it. Check them out for real. So, uh, you know, that'll be my first like stage fright as like in the studio and shit. Nah, not really, honestly. Yeah, I mean, in the studio, I feel like it's almost like it's almost like a, a dojo. You know, like I can you can come there and kind of just like be at peace. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm definitely giving a shout out to Spence again because he's the one that really got me more so comfortable in the studio. So like. You know, my first time meeting with him, like, I, I was doing Running Man, my first song. Uh, you know, it, it definitely got more plays than I was thinking on Spotify. Fire. It's a fire song. I appreciate that. I it appreciate was like OG, OG DV or yeah, OG KB? Yeah, so he, uh, so Running Man, for those who don't know. Uh, Y'all see I, me hit that motherfucker as we opened it up, and if you yeah. didn't, we're running back. I, uh, I lost my boy Colin a couple years ago. He got shot. Damn. Yeah. And uh, you do you you grew up with them? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, for the last few years, yeah. So you were just yeah. you were just really close to them. Yeah, I was close as fuck with them. Uh, you know, I'm so cool with his younger, well, his older brother. My bad, I slipped up there. But uh, I'm cool with Hunter still. But so Colin, he was my boy. Uh, I ain't gonna go into full details about everything. But so OGDV, he's down in Florida now. He went to school with me. He was, uh, I believe, a great below me. Uh, he moved down to Florida. He's been making music. You know, he he, he was blowing up for sure. Like he, he had some fire. He took a lot of his shit down, but he he's So got he's from fun. the Flint area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh he he's made some good ass shit too though. But we'll have to, we'll have to play some of his shit. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Like he, he definitely got that Flint style. Yeah. Like me, like, you know, I'm mixing shit up. Like I'm trying like, you know, different types of shit. I'm trying to see where I fit, where my sound is. So, you know, this EP I'm going to be dropping in August is going to be... Woo! August! It, it's going to be... August woo, 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 Ring the motherfucking alarm, yeah. folks! What's the, name of the, what's the name of the project? I don't even know. You, said you, still, you still got to decide on it. Yeah, I still got to decide. Uh, I, I got some fire features on there. I got OGDV, uh, Max Hilly. That song is going to be called Minute May. That's dropping on the 13th. And that shit's going to be some fire. Uh... Second artist, second artist yeah, too. Exactly. So do you, do you think that uh, there's going to be more uh, artists from like different cities working out once they see like it's happening more and more and more? Oh yeah, like I, I plan on expanding. Uh, so for those who are going to be at the V2, they're going to hear something that's not going to release until August. Uh, it's featuring Baltimore artist SGE Cash. Hey, you know who that is. That's lit. Yeah. So, I mean, he's, he's verified. I think he's got like Fourteen thousand followers. How did how did you uh how did you like uh, network with him? So uh I work with Mac Eleven for my beats hey, and shit. The Codis. Yeah. He's got he, some sick he's, beats. He's got some crazy beats, you know, and it's it's all love to him too. But uh he he's the one that connected me with him and you know I, I definitely am looking forward to that one. That one's gonna definitely be a little bit different for sure. Yeah, Baltimore was like so it was like a NBA Young Boy concert. That was like I was I was this close from pulling the trigger and driving because I was looking for it was at a point where I was looking for concerts you know I, I, I want to see I want to see Cole I want to see Corday I want to see fucking Drake you know I want to see like the main big big people and shit Trippy yeah. Red Juice World Have you seen Travis? Yes, yeah, he, he's a good performer. He tore it up at Astro World. Oh at, yeah, uh, Detroit, the little yeah, little Caesars. Yeah, that was yep. crazy. Fucking literally a, a, a what was it a roller coaster on yeah. top of the shit? I was like, yeah, no, that shit was crazy. That shit was. Uh, that was lit. He, he's a very good. Where were you performer. sitting at? Were you sitting in the general mission? Yeah. Yeah, I was like right off in like the little like seats off on the side. We were smoking blunts and shit, just like VIP style. It was lit. Yeah, I was gonna do that, but I kind of got tickets last minute. Uh, you know, I was thinking about it, thinking about it, and I uh, I was doing some shit at that time, but I just I pulled the trigger, so I didn't really get the best seat selection just due to that. But I got general admission though, so I can't trip about that. Right. Yeah, that's the, in my opinion, general admission is probably, like, the best value seat, you know, because you could literally, concerts here, you got the whole stage this way of people, you could literally be up here, or you could be back here, it just depends on when you get to the, when you get to the venue, yeah. how, how long you're willing to wait outside that bitch, you know what I'm saying, like, I've gotten, like, front row with, like, Trippy Red, Polo G, Juice World, because, like, I don't even give a fuck about waiting, you know, like, yeah, I remember being in the military, like, 
we would wait for raffles, like sneaker raffles and shit, like eight o'clock from one night until eight o'clock the next night, like a 12 hour wait. And it was like, this shit ain't nothing, you know? Like, exactly. My wife would be sleeping in the car, you know, like have a, have a fucking chair, you know, just, just post up just to sell yeah. some shoes and flips, make some money. Definitely. Crazy. So it's like that mindset's in, inside us. Exactly. But yeah, that uh, general mission. That's the, yeah, that's where it's at. I, I can't complain about it, honestly. There ain't no complaints. Best co- best concert you ever been to, besides the Jude Jude Fifth when you go be open to this bitch up. Honestly, the Travis. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, but you know Travis is definitely like my favorite artist though. So I mean. I, so how do you how do you feel about him getting all that heat about uh you know with the eight people dying? You think it was so uh, Illuminati shit? So I don't know about like that deep, but like the thing is like. Listen, I get like Travis is at some blame, but I feel like he's getting maybe a little bit too much, too much blame. And, you know, I, I'm definitely not saying, like, you know, he was 100% innocent, but he's not getting, like, enough, like, understanding. Right. Because, you know, there's so many fucking people. The venue definitely understaffed. Like, Facts. They, they didn't have enough security for that, nope. and they sold way too many tickets. Like, I don't remember. It was, like, what, 50000 at that? It was crazy. And it was, like, only supposed to be, like, 15 i think that's crazy to think and like people were climbing over fences and shit and like you know it's just it's fucking crazy like i think you should you should do it though like if you can sell fifty thousand tickets why not sell fifty thousand tickets and give that extra what is it thirty five thousand people a seat you know whether it's you know here or there but like you know i feel like that's the thing with all these big ass artists they have the the capacity Mm. to put on a good show like i remember dj khaled years ago was literally at a DJ booth inside, like, the L.A. Coliseum. Yeah. So it was, like, people all around him listening to him DJ and play, like, random songs. I was like, what the fuck? Really? <laughs> you know, it's like, this is yeah. this is crazy. You know, oh, but yeah. it was like, it's just the energy, like, seeing Khaled. Yeah. You know, because now, now that motherfucker ain't doing shit. I, I ain't see shit about him lately at all. <laughs> He's just been out of his, like, producer shit, I feel like. Really? You know, just like that and, you know, Assad taking care of his son. Yeah. Have you been paying attention to uh, Rick Ross? No, nah, not really. Uh, my buddy uh, Joe, he was gonna be here today. Yeah. But uh, he wasn't able to. But uh, he he showed me a few videos. Like he's got like, like a farm now or some shit. Oh, I believe I, I believe it. I think it was like a fire truck he bought the other day or some shit like that. What? Yeah, like he's like, yeah, I always wanted to drive once, so and now I bought one. Yeah, that's real though. You know, yeah. like it's just that that mindset, like. Yeah, it might be a little bit too over the top. Like, okay, you buy this fire truck for a hundred and fifty thousand, right? Are you gonna sell it for a hundred and fifty thousand or more? Yeah, probably because you're Rick yeah. Ross. But you know, like certain shit, like people be spending like what is it like thirty grand, forty grand on shoes? Oh yeah. Ain't nobody buying. Ain't, ain't nobody paying more than that. No. You paid the most that they they could possibly get. It's crazy, crazy. But oh, he's yeah. he's a true sneakerhead. I'm a, you, you know Benji, Benjamin Kicks? No, I, I don't know. It's like this little, little like, he's like this little little kid he put on. Literally like buying shoes from him. Ben, ben was, you know, made this dude like a million a million dollar ban, a brand. Damn. Yeah, just from like reselling kicks. That shit's crazy. Yeah, Benjamin Kicks. Check him out. I have to. He I was like know. back in the day when like, you know, my, you remember when like Major Key and you say that shit like yeah. all the fucking time. Oh yeah. Well it was like he'd always have uh Benjamin on his Snapchats and shit. He's like oh, go shit. go shop with Ben. Major Key. You know, like yeah. I didn't even know that. No. He, he put that dude on. Hey, for real, for real, put yeah. him on. I'll have to check him. Well, uh speaking of Rick, so uh Cam, who I worked with on Raw. Cam How, right? Yeah. Yo. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Cam. Yeah. Uh, we actually made that uh, song down at Bank Crows down in Detroit. Yeah. What's that was in Spencer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we made that song together, but Cam actually like went down to Florida too for a little bit, and he actually like freestyled for uh, Rick Ross. What? Yeah, like it was on his uh, Rick Ross's Snapchat and shit. That's lit. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Yeah, the coolest shit I like. I met. I met like you know took a picture with you know like some celebrities and shit like that. I think the coolest shit. It's probably passing a blunt to uh, uh, Polo G security guard passed the blunt to me. You know, we was front row. Damn. That shit was lit. Before COVID and shit. Yeah, that shit. Now crazy. that shit won't ever happen. Yeah. But, yeah, that shit was crazy. I literally had a blunt, tried to pass it to him. He was like, nah, I'm good. 
I was like, what? And I'm thinking like, okay, you probably, you know, I might have laced it or, you know, like, he don't know. Yeah. Nothing. So I'm like, okay, I understood that afterwards. Like, but he ended up passing me his and I was like, hell yeah. Oh yeah, that shit slipped. <laughs> Thank you. You know, just like, yeah, the dope moment. Yeah, no, that shit slipped. So being from Flint, what's what's the biggest mis misconception about you? I don't know. I, I really don't have too many misconceptions, honestly. Like, yeah. You know, I I would definitely say the biggest misconception is just the fact that, like, you know, there isn't, like, any good in Flint. Like, you know, I, I've definitely seen, like, a lot of good, and I feel like there's definitely way more good than people want to acknowledge because... You know, the news just want to sit there and just, you know, say, oh, you know, Flint's bad, like this, this, and that, but they don't ever want to talk about the positivity of Flint. Right. So that definitely drags down, like, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say it's, you know, all all sweet there, because it's not. Right. You know, but I, I definitely, I definitely feel bad for, like, you know, the water crisis, too. It's crazy. Yeah, that shit, that shit was fucked when that first happened, because, uh. You know, my uh my cousin was actually affected by that shit. Yeah. Like they got flint water and shit, so like I, I feel bad. How do, how do, how does everyone like adapt to that now? What it what is life like now for people in Flint drinking water? So can you still drink it from the tap? Or is it is it dangerous? I know people that do and I haven't heard of anyone that's really like, getting affected right. by it anymore. So I mean I assume maybe it's getting better. maybe they clean it up as but best the they can. The thing is though, like I know a lot of people in Flint now, like they have the option to get Detroit water. Oh shit! But like it, the thing is though, it costs more. Yeah. So like, not everyone's able to really afford that. Like, you know, I heard my cousin was able to switch from Flint to Detroit water. I wonder what's the cost difference. I would have to ask him honestly. Right, because like here in Bangor, so like it varies in every every city, but like here in like a township, like we pay between like ninety to a hundred dollars every mm -hmm. three months, so it's like thirty dollars a month for water. Yeah. But if like you go inside the city of a city, you could pay like three hundred dollars a month. Oh yeah, it's it's an insane price or price jump, but because like the reason of it is because there's, you know, out of thirty six thousand people in Bay City, we probably have three thousand in in Bangor, five thousand in Bangor, you know, maybe. Yeah. So it's like they they break it down off that, you know, like okay, what does it cost to make you know give these guys water? Okay, divided by five thousand, it should be bigger for Flint. You know, it should be even cheaper, you know, for, like, for the city and shit, because you're dividing it by so many fucking houses. Yeah, I'm not yeah. able to tell you how much that shit is, though, but I, I heard it was a significant amount from my cousin. Yeah. Yeah, I remember one time I went to, uh, we went to the the, the White Castle. So yeah. It was literally, like, we were going, like, skiing or some shit, snowboarding. And uh, we literally stopped there, stopped there on the way, and we're all fucking, I had, like, this gift card, so I'm literally, like, I bought twenty five dollars worth of food. Didn't get no drinks, dumb as shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking, I'm like, hey, can I get you know some like water? Yeah. <laughs> and so like we're all drinking water. We sit down, we're eating, and like my buddy Danny looks at me, he's like, bro, we're drinking water in Flint. I said, it's filtered, I think, right? He's like, bro, I don't know. And so literally, it was just like we all got so fucking paranoid. We're like, fuck it, somebody get a drink, somebody buy a drink. So I know with Flint water though, you are able to drink it from tap, like if you purify it. Okay. So I do know that because uh, my cousin, that's what he was doing before he switched. Like, he had some process because he also uses that water for his plants because yeah. he grows. But, uh, you know, I don't remember the whole process. He does the purified or anything, but he, that's what he used to do. But now he gets Detroit, so he's all good there now. Right. I mean, Detroit ain't the best water, but, I mean, it's better, it's better than, than Flint. Flint. Yeah. What's crazy is we actually... There was some uh, reports that, what was it, uh, Essexville was experiencing some uh, lead in their pipes. Mm -hmm. So it's, I feel like it's just a natural, like, Flint was just a big city that put awareness to it. Yeah. You know, but there's cities all over the country that have it, it as bad, if not worse, than Flint. And that's yeah. what's crazy. Like, there's people that literally can't drink their water because it's, like, brown, you know? And that's crazy that people are being charged for that shit, you know, like... You know, it's kind of it's kind of fucked because, like, you know, we sit here in America, which is supposed to be the best country. Not everyone here has even clean water. Facts. Like, that's that's the part that's fucked. Like, 
you know, I would rather have clean water than a lot of other utilities. Like, obviously, you know, we need electricity for sure nowadays, but yeah, I mean, water is definitely something because, you know, you need water to really live. Right. You need water for a lot of things. So it's, it's just a need. That. It's a need, but they charge it, you know? Exactly. And it's fucked that they can't even get clean water. It yeah. is. I don't know. It's like, there was, you ever seen the, uh, what was it? What was, who the fuck was that, that actor who did it? Pretty much he went on, the, not Will Smith, but he went on all around the world, you know, and did like these crazy, like crazy exotic shits, you know, like would show you exactly what it looked like for a volcano. Like say a volcano is like across the ocean, but you can see it visibly. It's not a big ocean width wise, but it's long wise. So like you can see the volcano visibly from like the other side of this ocean. And over here, like in the sand, you can literally like cook, like people will cook shit in the sand because it's so hot. So, like, it's crazy, bro. Like, when I was watching, I was like, holy fuck. Yeah. People literally, like, will open and, like, go in the sand and cook. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, just because the shit is so hot from over there, and it goes all the way still under the water. And it's it would be, like, fucking lava, but it just cools. The water cools it down so much that it's, like, you can use it. Yeah. For, like, a nonstop stove. No, that shit's crazy, though. Yeah. People For cook sure. their dinners and shit on, on that shit. Yeah, no, you have to light me with that shit. So I definitely want to check that out. It's fucking, it's like, it's like, I don't want to say it's Shia LaBeouf, but it might be Shia LaBeouf who, like, who goes around. Is that on YouTube? It's, it's a show, like, uh, Discovery. Oh, on Discovery? Yeah. I'll we'll have to check that it's out. It's lit. It's lit as fuck. But it's actually a good show, like, about, like, you know, information and, you know, like, education and shit. Like, aside from, like, the fact that, like, I think he was, like, the, what was it, fucking, the Wildcats, remember that fucking show? Uh, the High School Musical. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. It was that motherfucker. Zach that, Efron. Zach Efron. That's who it was. Yeah. So Zach Efron goes around and he pretty much like goes and does like these crazy elaborate things in the world. Kind of like shows you a different look. That's crazy. It's dope. Will I'll Smith. Will Smith got a version of it too. Really? Yeah. Sick. That's crazy. How do you feel about uh, Will Smith and uh, Chris Rock? Oh man. I think my, my opinion changes every time more and more, you know, because it's like the more I'm like, oh, you know, like it was it was staged, you know, like he had to have gone for it. But I don't know. I think that shit was I think that shit was real. And I'd have, yeah. I'd have, I'd have stabbed Will with a neck. I'd have stabbed uh, Will in the neck with a pen or something. Because, you know, Chris Rock taking notes and shit during the shit, you know, like yeah. little cue cards and shit. Stab his ass in the neck. That shit was Fuck crazy. Slapping me, on, slapping me on fucking live TV for it. Yeah, chill. Goddamn. I mind. feel like there could have been way worse than Jones. But I do. I do. Yeah. He laughed at first too. Yo, there's some crazy stories. There's like, there's this one dude who is completely ruthless about fucking uh, about uh, Jada. Jada. He's like, it was just like raw. Like oh, Bert, yeah. Bert Kreischer, I think his name is, or Gary. I don't know. I think it's his name. Bert Kreischer. Funny as fuck. Hilarious. He just he went in. He was like, goddamn. He was like, not only should Will Smith be arrested. Yeah. But, you know, he should never be able to, you know, be on a fucking show, you know, to win an award ever again, you know. I was like, God damn. But they did end up, you know, like, suspending him for, like, X amount of years now. Well, I mean, he deserves some form for of For sure. That was crazy. Some type of punishment. Yeah. One that King Richard wore like a goddamn MVP. <laughs> Said his sorries to every single dude except Chris Rock. Damn. Like, what is the end goal for Chase M's? Oh, I mean, you know, obviously, I definitely want to make a name for myself in the music industry and shit. Uh, you know, obviously, I love for people to just tune in, check it out. Like, you know, I don't ask for people to buy my music on Apple Music. It just gets uploaded like that. Right. But just check it you out. You get a penny for every listen. It's less than that. Really? On Apple, it's not. Apple is, uh, should be a, a penny a listen. I'd have to check my payout then on that. Yeah, because uh, my man Chainless uh, broke it down. That Apple is literally the highest payout for like all of them. Oh, I'm thinking of Spotify. Spotify is less than a penny. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like point zero zero three or something like that. I don't even know. Some shit like that. Yeah, it's low. But uh, you know, if I did make it and shit, that'd be cool. Hey, if no, it's it's when. Yeah. It's when you know, like, are you gonna be consistent? Are you gonna you know put out quality work? Are you gonna get your name out there? You know, like that's. That's the, that's the, that, in my opinion that's the most important part you know it's like because like I have I have a lot of people who hit me up with, that make music you know and some of them they you know it's like it's good music some of them it's not so good music.
but you, you know like even if someone's not ma making not so good music but they got that energy where like they're they're willing to learn they're willing to you know like yeah i had this one dude he hit me up and he's like hey i've never done a have never done a interview here before i want to do one with you he's like i'm still in school i don't know if you'd be down to you know do do an interview in my hallway at school i'm like yeah that sounds lit as fuck i said i can't <laughs> we, we can't Who smoke uh it's Lil Monet. That sounds familiar. Yeah. He uh he moved to Texas and then he came back, but he's from Saginaw, so he's gonna be performing on volume four, so August twenty eighth. So Tri City Vintage Fest, Tri City Vintage Flea Market is literally it's going on all summer. If you don't know now you know. My man over here is opening the shit up. Summer showdown, he's opening the shit up at eleven. Make sure you come on out. Like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. B two. Yes, sir. But yeah, so uh, like, what do you what do you think is one of the biggest obstacles as an artist? Besides, get your name out there. Oh, uh, get your name out there is obviously one of them. But uh, two, literally trying to find like what your sound is, what the people are rocking with the most. Like you know, I dropped Running Man, and then like it started off slow, and then like I did a little promo. Uh, I did it through OGDD. Uh, he runs promos and shit, and he ran it for me. And then, like, you know, it blew up and all that from there. Well, I'm not going to say it blew up, but, like, you know, it got way more plays than I was really expecting. Right. So, uh, you know, I start to see how it goes from Raw, then after Minute Made, and then I'll be dropping more songs on the EP where it's, you know, going to be all over the place. You already got songs that are made? I got uh, one waiting for a feature, and I got, like, I still have some more studio time and all that. Uh, I plan on writing some more shit like tonight or tomorrow, and then I'll be probably getting back in the studio for like four yeah. like four hours. I'm good on that. I got this uh, for like four hours. Yeah. With uh, Spence and probably cook out like two songs. There's a, uh, I've seen I've seen an artist go into Spence's and make two songs in 25 minutes. Yeah, no, that's crazy. It's, it's crazy. That is crazy. Do Do you think that uh? Cause I always ask, you know, like, is do you think there's there's a better way to to manage your time in the studio, or is there just a creative process that like you kind of stick to? Uh, honestly, everyone does something differently. Yeah. So you know, with Cam and I, cause we we made that shit together, and I think it was like a, so it was supposed to be two hour studio time, but we showed up late, and so we got like an hour i feel like it was like an hour like we showed up an hour later some shit like that yeah and you know we cooked it up like we we got high in there you know if we started fucking up like you know he'd go in and i yeah, go re out rerun and, it. yeah yeah and he would just do his part and, you know when he got his part done uh <clears throat> you know i went back in there and just did my thing and we just got it going so you know sometimes it's better just like step off to the side you know hit your J, bull, bong, whatever the fuck right. you want to do. And then... Kind of loosen up a little bit. Exactly, because, you know, if you keep fucking up, you're just going to get tense, but, like, what the fuck? Right. You know, unless anger makes you happy and wants you to, like, do your thing... You probably should be moshing. You probably should be drop-kicking some shit. Like, then, tonight, Camelpeam is going to be fucking drop-kicking and moshing shit tonight. Hunger for more is performing schizo. At the whole, uh, it's the excellency is put, putting it on. But my man McNass is the main event. We got Phoenix. We got Hunger for More. We got my fucking homie Al James from Saginaw. Hey, speaking of Al James, main event for volume two. So, hey, the shit's full circle, y'all. It's only a matter of time before a lot of y'all just really, really just connect naturally and just, hey, I love it. You know, like, yeah. I love, I love, you know, like, when an artist like yourself is willing to, you know, to, to, to drive for an interview and, you know, promote that shit. Cause, uh, it just shows, it just shows how serious you are about the shit. And it's, you know, like, Hey, any, anything I can do to ever be an asset to you, say the word. No, I you know, appreciate like, that. Yeah. I fuck with that. Yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, you know, Spence really got me to start taking it more serious. Cause like he kind of told me straight up, like that, like running me was way better than he thought it was going to be and stuff. And, you know, he tells me, like, every time I go in the studio that I'm just getting better and better and better. That's good. And, you know, I'm I'm recognizing it, too. Like, you know, I, I'm not going to be sitting here dropping BS. Yeah. That's the reason why, like, you know, some artists are able to drop fire, like, weekly. Like, and, you know, you guys can do that. But, like, me, like, 
I want to sit there and perfect it, hear the beat. Like, you know, I will sit there and listen to a beat like 10 to 20 times before even going over it. Oh, damn. Like, that's just the thing. Like, I want to get that. And then uh, when I get in the studio, you know, Spence and I just, we just click, you know, we, we smoke, we pull up the beat. I play it through a couple of times, listen to it. Uh, you know, Spence is a goddamn legit, like, he's a real deal scientist. Like, mm -hmm. when I say, like, when I've seen Chainless go in, he had, he had already literally listened to the beat, wrote some bars that he fucked with, you know, to it, took that shit to Spence. He throws it on the computer, does the file magician fucking wazoozy. And fucking, you know, gets that shit cooking. And then all, all he's got to do is just go over some bars and boom, that shit's a file. You know, like 10, 12 minutes later, I'm like, holy shit. That's insane. You know, yeah. like one take, two takes. It's like, holy shit. You know, like it's just seeing that shit. I'm like, God damn. You know, like I think like because a lot of people, a lot of people, in my opinion, they don't have the funds to be in the studio all day long to make an album, you know, like they want to be. Yeah. You know, like I feel like if if you had free range to the studio, you'd probably be there as much as you can, and probably the shit would be done. Well, I actually uh, plan on investing in, like my own studio at my place and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I plan on getting my place pretty soon and investing in on a like studio with like. Like you want to be able to record at the house? Yeah, five thousand dollars worth of equipment, and you know I'm gonna sit there and just practice, practice, practice. And hey, then, I'm a thrifter. You should. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll. I'll put the word out. You know, we might. Uh, we might be able to get it for way cheaper. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely. got. I know a lot of motherfuckers. No, I fuck with that. I appreciate that. We'll check that out. Yeah. But like, you know, I I want to learn how to like mix and stuff. Just like I know how shit sounds. Right. So I still plan on going to Spence though. Regardless. Kind of send it to him to fully ma master it. And Not even that. Like I'm still gonna go in there and record it on his stuff and all yeah. that. Yeah. Just so he can tell me like if there's some part that kind of perfect off. your shit. Yeah. Help. Help. Help exactly because like you know having a second ear does help yeah facts that does help a lot because like you know i might be hearing it one thing but you might hear it completely different everyone perceives shit differently yeah that's 100 you know everyone perceives just songs in general differently too so i mean it you know it is intended one way but someone might be thinking of something else right they might connect it to a situation that they that they're you know yeah. their their aunt gave them when they got out the fucking got out of school i don't know some shit but yeah. <clears throat> so have you ever done an interview before? No, it's my first one. Hey, first of many. First of many. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Uh, there's there's a handful of people that uh that I there's that do interviews and shit. So I definitely would uh I'll shoot their number. One of them is Ron P. He does interviews and shit. One of uh very 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 good good uh, taste. Definitely. He's got a. Uh, set up in his house as well so he uh yeah, he, I, I love it i love what he's what he does he uh he's real he's real uh real chill on like the the setup and shit you know it's like super comfortable he's got the mics at the table you know you can't smoke on there but you you know you can i think you can drink I'm pretty sure you can drink you drink and you know he's got drinks and shit Definitely. but he's got a studio and shit down there as well so where's like, that at in bay city it's uh not too, not too far oh okay yeah so i'll uh yeah, if you're interested in something like that, I'll uh, I'll have him reach out or I'll give you his contact. Definitely, for sure. But yeah, you ever heard of the Carlon Freestyle? No, I don't think so. We'll get we'll get to it after. Hey, Running Man, song out here. I want y'all to hear this one. We uh, we meant to, we meant to play it in the beginning, but hey. A lot of information was uh, just shared for y'all. So, yeah. like I said, make sure y'all go share episode 78. Go follow my man, Chase M's, chasing millions, chasing money. Hey, I like, I love the, I love the vision. I love the mindset. I love the, I love the, the aurora about the name. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's an uplifting name. Yeah. It, it makes you, you know, like it makes you damn like. You got to chase a bag. That's what you got to do. You got to yeah. make that money. Yeah. Facts. You know? Facts. If money ain't on your mind, then I don't know. It's you tripping, man. You gotta get the money. For sure. Yeah. It's one. It's one thing that uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have money. You know. Exactly. But. Baby. Three.
Yo, out on all platforms, go check this one out. Running Man, featuring OGDV. I do not own the rights to this music, it's been a year, but he I'm does. About to spaz out. We was counting money for them handouts. Oh my god, oh my god, I was broke. Then I cashed out. We saw the game together, we had it planned out. Hate to see it go. Let her watch the leap. If I ain't smoking dope, no, I'm counting up that green bitch. I'm a loner, but I love her company. She came back because she let that gold on me. Heard my last track, tell me that she rocked with me. Kicked her out, had a lot on my mind. My brother gone, I pray for better days. Teaching law again, I think gonna see a rainy day. They gonna see a rainy day. Even after that, the pain won't go away. Slide by like I'm about to do my money dance. Hop on the money van. LLC, then my brother dead. Call your phone, but you won't answer it. Disrespect Colin and you get hit with that. Chop him, make him do the running man. Bitch, I want the money, throw it in a double bag. Cop an MCM, soon be a double R. Hitting licks back to back, bitch, I'm 2 0. But it ain't the same without my running man. Damn. Why they all mad? Hey, hey, why they all mad? Damn, probably cause I'm in my mode. So that's where I'm at. You already know that I be on the yeah, road. So my bro away, my heart cold. Think I need a car. Run and drop a mox there in the summer cause I like the hey, boost. You like the boost, I ain't the one, bitch. We gon' set the play, man. I've been stacking all this money for a rainy day. Yeah, my phone keep being goddamn, that's another play. And nah, I don't do this shit for fun, bitch. You gotta pay. Yeah, bitches do it, don't contemplate. You saying that you're real, but I wanna see how you get down. Plug on the way, yeah, I'm finna bust this shit. They don't fizzles on my ass. So you know I had a bitch tag hey, Fuck around the scams How then we gon' switch states Bitch, I can teach you about the joint I got six ways If you want some smoke I call my Akis They got AK Man, I'm getting money every day Fuck hey, payday Told your home finna hit that shit on camera Like I'm Ray J This ain't Friday Boy, quit acting like you Debo You a day hey, Fuck around I'ma stick to the trap And make some reggae Bitch, bad But she got too many kids Fuck them babies I can make a hundred K Give me eight days Fuck them babies You ain't really getting money You don't make plays I, I just sent my dog a kite On the JPEG Me and Chase be running to this money, bitch, let's get some cake. Chop him, make him do the running man. Bitch, I want the money, throw it in a double bag. Cop an MCM, soon be a double R. Hitting licks back to back, bitch, I'm 2 0. Oh. But it ain't the same way without my running man. Damn, why they all mad? You just gotta pay the sun. Damn. Fuck it. Run that shit up, though. Where did where did uh where did Running Man uh where was Running Man inspired from? So Running Man was inspired from uh Tom who I mentioned earlier. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I mentioned that, I seen I heard his name. Yeah, so that was uh my boy OGDV yeah. was actually cool with him too. Yeah, I remember. Uh, Colin though actually met Rio. Oh shit, Rio the really yeah. young OG. Yeah, that's lit. Yeah, I got a picture of it. I'll I'll send it to you. Later. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, he uh, he. I'm pretty positive, like, everyone fucking knew who Colin was. Yeah. How did how did he pass away? Uh, he was shot. Damn. Yeah. He was shot. Him Just some wrong place, wrong time shit? At his own place. Damn. Mm -hmm. Just some accidental shit, or was it was it hot? It, it, it was hot. Damn. Yeah. It, it's definitely tough, but, uh, you know, that, that's my dog, and I mean, you know, all love for him and his family, for yeah. sure. But, uh, my condolences to the family. You know, uh, my yeah. thoughts and prayers are with y'all. Yeah, no, that shit, it was, it was definitely tough. And, you know, the thing was, like, I was supposed to be there, but I slept past my alarm. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I, I feel it. I feel it. You feel, you almost feel guilty. Like, damn, you, yeah. you're supposed to go with your bro or something. Yeah. But it's, if, if you look at it, though, Look at it from, you know, a bigger aspect. Like, God's got to have some angels. He's got to have some fucking... He's got to have some warriors up there fucking watching above us. You know, and sometimes... Yeah. Sometimes he fucking takes the good ones for, before the before we're ready for him. But, hey, he he always knows. He, he did some crazy shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. Um, yeah, him and his girl both got uh, shot up. His girl, well, his ex-girl, obviously, fuck? still alive. Yeah. She is, uh, you know, I hope she's doing well, too, though, obviously. You right. Know, uh, I heard she's doing fine now, but, I, I mean, obviously, she's still upset, which I don't blame her. Right. That shit's tragic. Fucking 100%. Yeah, the thing is, though, those two that did it, they, they just turned themselves in. What the fuck? Yeah, they self-turned themselves in. What the fuck? Because Why? Well, that's a it yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, crazy. Yeah, I, I, 
there, there's definitely plenty of reasons why, but uh, I just, I definitely hope they uh, have their time for sure. Right. Uh, you know, I, I definitely feel bad. Uh, he was never buried or anything. They cremated him. And then. Did uh, you get a piece of him? Unfortunately, no, I didn't. Uh, but he always wanted to be uh, his ashes to be sprayed over somewhere down in Florida. I forgot where. I think it was like down in Miami or some shit over the water. Yeah. So that's what they uh, Hunter and OGDV did. Okay. I forgot where it was in Florida, but they uh, sprayed his ashes out. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope that they that he got the you know. Yeah, I don't. The one time I ever prepared for death was before I deployed to Afghanistan. But like they made us do like this crazy like big thick packet book. You know, like you had to play like it went down to like what song you wanted to play at your funeral. You know, like. I'm like, shit, I don't know. Fucking Waterfalls by TLC. I'm, I'm fucking killing the vibe and don't fucking be sad. Here's some fucking, some groovy, Dude. movie groovy. Yeah. That shit's tough, though. Oh, yeah, but it was just like, my mindset, it was just like, I'm not dying, you know? Like, the fuck, you know? So, like, how was Afghanistan? Oh, it was cool. I mean, it was, it was, it was definitely a dope experience. Like, I got to, like, because they, they provide you with, like, you know, like, uh, it's kind of like these connexes connexes with like you know uh like air conditioned like little things you can kind of control for the whole building so it's you know it's comfortable so yeah. you can fucking go to work you know you got to go to missions do missions you know but you can pretty much come back sleep in a little bunk bed with a little you know a little little mattress and fucking you know still be able to like you know charge your phone and uh internet was a bitch but we paid like 160 for just like basic shit it was like three fifty for like fire shit, a month. It was wild, but they was they was robbing us. We couldn't watch no porn, couldn't drink no alcohol. <laughs> uh, what was the other shit? Um, couldn't have no like, uh, you know, like uh, illegal guns, you know, shit like that. Because they people had like, people would sell shit all the time, you know, like outside the city. Yeah. Oh yeah, people would definitely sell shit. What was the craziest shit you saw over there? Uh. Probably uh, like blown up fucking you know Max Pro, you know. But it was like, you could tell there was you could tell there was like some bodies that got blown up in that bitch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it's that that little shit. You know, kind of like the thought, like the sight of blood. You know, like yeah. I might puke instantly. <laughs> but that's crazy though. But it's like you know, I mean, you it's not like you know traumatic you know anymore or nothing like that. But it's just yeah, it's, you just see some crazy shit. You know, like. We had a, uh, we had a lieutenant. It was in a different company. His wife was like cheating on him. So dude literally like killed himself like while we was there. Yeah. His yeah. his wife fucking you know sent him pictures to sent pictures of like this shit got out to the whole fucking battalion. Like, dude's wife was fucking cheating on him and you know like was doing some fuck shit. Literally. That's crazy as fuck though. Yeah. That is. But yeah, I mean. It was it was a good deployment. I mean, I'm here. I'm here to you know. Besides like fucking my knee up, you know, I fucking I'm good, you know. Definitely. Yeah. How'd you fuck your knee up? Uh, we was doing like this ruck, and literally like, I don't know if I just jumped down too far, one leg too heavy with the ruck. I don't know, like not enough squats. I don't know. Something happened. My fucking left knee just, you know, felt like that bitch yeah. exploded. I was like, oh shit. So I was like, just taking pressure, swell the fuck up. They told me like I sprained my MCL and sprained my ACL. I was good, you know, didn't you know. Yeah. They just told me like stay off that shit. So I literally didn't work for like like two, three weeks. Didn't do shit. Didn't do PT for a while, you know, until like my shit was, you know, unswole. But yeah, I mean Definitely. You ever you ever got injuries? Oh uh, yeah, I got a few from sports. Uh so I've played uh football, hockey, lacrosse. Oh yeah, I used to play lacrosse. Really, where do you play? I play D pool. Where? Uh, D defense. No, where at? Like. Oh, where? Central. Basically Central. What year did you graduate? Eleven. Oh no, we never played. Yeah, I used to fuck one of the fuckers up. Yeah, I uh I played at Davis and I was a goalie. But yeah, I would literally uh like people that came came by, I fucking beat the fuck out of them. You know, like they drop their stick, they're dropping their gloves, they're they're getting fucking checked. I'm fucking beating oh, yeah. the dog shit out of them, like. 
they hate coming down there if you're an attack. Like, you will hate your job playing me. And then we yeah. had even meaner. We had Walter, this uh, big ass fucking tower, six two, six three, about three hundred, you know, like two hundred pounds, two twenty. Big ass motherfucker. Like, yeah, always been big as shit. He'd fucking steamroll motherfuckers on blindside hits for for me. You know, <laughs> like I'm fucking with somebody, fucking with somebody. He'd clean their fucking asses up, take a fucking penalty if need be. You know, but the message yeah. is sent. You know, just hey, attack, keep that bitch over there for a little bit while he's on. The, you know, throw that bitch around, waste some time. You know. Yeah. Mini back, mini back. I remember fucking he he'd be going crazy. He'd love that shit. He fucking that's a deep hole. Mini back, mini back. You know, just you know, just go try to score. Lacrosse. I'm like, you son of a bitch. Lacrosse was a lot of fucking fun. I love lacrosse. Lacrosse is a lot of fun. I I wish you got more credit and popularity. Uh, who was it? Somebody was just talking. They said lacrosse is. Oh yeah, at dinner last night for my wife's birthday. Uh, my uh, my wife's friend, she goes, lacrosse is the dumbest sport. We're watching women's lacrosse, and they're fucking wearing goggles and well, shit. Well, I mean, women's lacrosse is just a different game than men's lacrosse. It's a lot brutal. Like, that shit is like, you wear men's no lacrosse. pads. Like, they, well, I think men's men's more brutal, but, like, yeah. it could be more brutal in the women's if they were, like, meaner. Yeah, but they have, like, a lot more rules where, like, they can't really, like... Check? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I never, I never like, checked the rules... I was like, I can only imagine the fucking yeah, no, oh, stick they, to the they, tit. They, they oh, damn. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> no, bust an implant if she has some titties done or something, you know? Yeah, no, they, I don't think they can check or anything like that. Like, yeah. they, they can only, like, stand up. You know what I'm saying, though? Like, no, that would be brutal. Nice tits, fuck. bye bye. You know, like, the motherfucker just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's some fun shit you, you like to do in Flint? Honestly, I'm not really hanging out in Flint no more, to be honest. Yeah. I just be working and shit. I just, uh, ever since that, I just really haven't been hanging in Flint, but. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, some things that, like, you know, I will do now, like, you know. What about the, uh, Genesis, what is it, the Flint Fashion Club? What I, I sell a bunch of weed and shit? Oh, Vehicle City Social? There you go. Maybe that's it. Yeah, no, I, I've been there quite a few times, actually, uh. You know, I actually talked to him about becoming a vendor there. Yeah. Uh, the guy said, you know, once I am more consistent with my growing and stuff, guys. Uh, Do they I, only have vendors for weed? Uh, You know, they have weed, like, you know, edibles and stuff I'll like that. I'll pull up with a fucking rack of jerseys in that bitch. I think you could, possibly. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm gonna have to find out the dude's number. Yeah, no. Uh, I'll have to go through there sometime definitely again and then i'll try to get that shit for you yeah and i'll send that to you hell yeah definitely yeah that's something that i want to <clears throat> that's something that i want to continue doing too is you know like just just reaching out to more cities like hey we do we do this vintage shit i got jerseys i got vintage you know like i travel everywhere you know we got a we got an event today for the mcnast show and then we got an event tomorrow in holland michigan so if you, ain't, if you ain't doing nothing i definitely recommend pulling up with me that's just gonna be gas like you're gonna You'll definitely meet a lot of talent. You'll be definitely be able to network a fuck ton. Definitely. What yeah. is that, today? Yeah, it's today. What time is that at? Um, doors open at 6. All right, yeah. Now I'm going to head back to my place, and uh, I'll, I'll hit back with you for sure. Yeah, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. I'm going to be on the podcast, so we'll definitely get some visuals and shit and interviews and shit at the, uh, the event if you want to come. Definitely. Yeah. I'll have a... Uh, I can get you in for free with, as a as a vendor, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, is anything uh anything you're anything you're working on though you wanna you wanna uh promote and shit? Besides Minute Maid? Or uh other songs. Honestly, just just the E P, honestly. That's yeah. really all I got to promote right now. Uh after that I'm probably gonna just like take a a break from releasing for the rest of the year maybe. Yeah. Uh I'll be doing like Features and shit though, so people can hit my line for features. What do you What do you charge for a feature? Honestly, it really depends if you're trying to get twelve or sixteen. Right. But uh, regardless, you're gonna be covering my studio time. Uh, and it really depends like what style you want. Like, right. If you want, I I don't know. Honestly, I really haven't gone to depth about that, but probably like ninety five. <clears throat> so about a hundred bucks some shit like that yeah just because like you know i i really want spence to do all my shit like you know you can go to who you want 
but you know, I have to pay for studio time with Spence, his mixing, and you know, you can do your mastering, but I still got to pay for that. And then, you know, right. I'm barely not really making shit off that. Right. Yeah, there's a, Spence has got some shit where I think it's a, a, a club where it's like you get discounted hours. You seen it? Yeah, I think it was like 150 a month or some shit like that. Him and I were talking about it. But right now, him and I got a contract because we're working on this EP together. So, you know, we have this payment thing going out where I get like, I got like 12 total hours and like, you know, I get all these songs mixed and mastered and it was like 900 or some shit like that. Nice. Yeah, it was, it was, it was solid. Yeah. I think it may have been a little bit more than that, actually. I don't fucking remember. Scientists. But no, it, it's definitely worth it, though, because he, he's going to, you know, he's got good advice, you know, and he, he definitely helps He knows anyone. what he's doing. Exactly. He, he helps anyone that gets in that studio. Yeah, literally. He's got, when he was showing us, like, the list of, like, artists that did it, because a chain list was like, uh, hey, how many how many songs have I got on there? You know, he's like, do I have the most done by it? And he's like, close. And then he pulled the, like, artists that had a similar. He's done a lot. He's done a lot. Yeah. He's done, you know, and it was just like, you know, it was just like, damn, you could really see like the, the craft, you know, like how long you've been working, how much hours you put in and, you know, just like you, you can't, you can't do nothing but respect the shit, you know? So shout out Green Greens, caught me up Spence, uh, Green Greens in your motherfucking ear, ho. All that good shit, man. Yeah. It's much love. True scientist. I'm working on getting him a lab coat. I want to, I want to get his ass a lab coat. So I'm looking. If you with know some any, stitching in it? Yeah. I want to, we're going to make that shit fire. The scientists, nice. you know, with some green greens, fucking patches or some shit on it. That'd be bad. Make that shit gas as fuck. I don't know if he'll wear it. Literally, was was dope about it is like I called him the scientist, and literally like he was inspired and used it. You know, like and now he's now he runs with it, and that's like damn. You know, like that's lit that I can I can I can put that inspiration into you. You know, Definitely. yeah. Definitely. Like you don't even gotta you know you don't even gotta fucking tag me you know shout me out. It's just dope. I know you know. It's like if you know you know type shit. You know? So yeah, let's uh, let's let, I'm I'm gonna show you that uh, Carl on freestyle. Go on YouTube real quick. It's uh called Carl Arm Beat. If you don't know, now you know. It's an FGP ritual in this motherfucking thing. Every artist that comes on this shit, I gotta at least let them hear it. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna. Car alarm beat. Yeah, of course it'll say Carl R and B. What the fuck? Auto auto hearing shit. But yeah. Uh Car Alarm Freestyle. It was inspired when uh we were on Fridays. I was with PJ and uh McNash from Melon Made. This one. Uh, this one. But I was inspired. You know, they uh they showed me this shit and they literally just they they went in. You know, they they did the funniest funniest dopest little freestyle and ever since then i'm like oh shit how can i incorporate this shit and in, you know to some shit well one i'm gonna shout them out every time i every time we play it but also give a give a you know give an artist a chance to you know listen to some funny shit see if they can maybe you know flow to some funny shit or flow to you know some some dope shit or just not flow at all you know either way car alarm freestyle fgp chase m's is in the house play that shit Skin care and makeup is important, y'all. Make sure, make sure you you do your shit justice. Oh, shit. Uh, FGP seventy eight. I'm here with a young man. About to be great. Name chasing M's. He's chasing the bag. About to let you hear what Scott on his stash. I don't know if I can do it, bro. Oh. Yeah. If, if he don't want it, he don't gotta do it. But this is how you see it. If you are artist, then you can come on and come do it. Ain't nothing to it. But to do it and do it well. Uh. This is FGP. Feeling good, pies, come subscribe to me. If you know what's good, put a bucket on your hat and feel real good. It don't matter. Hey, it don't matter. 
But yeah, this is uh, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, so it goes in like uh, yeah, it, so it's, like the next song, the next song goes even harder. It's like another car alarm. You drove all the way from Flint. I appreciate that fucking shit. I'm about to pull up on you next time. About to get some look at the limelight. Uh, get some visuals of the city. But I won't, won't drink no water. Don't, won't <laughs> drink it, not at all. Not at all. But you call me, you can get the call. Yeah, FGP. I'm here with Chase M's. Yeah, he's right next to me. Yeah, got a bucket hat on the table and on my head. Me and Chase M's, we about to get this bread. All year, all gas, no brakes. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, y'all. Here with Chase M's. Like I said, episode 78. I want y'all to go fucking go subscribe. Go show some love. Go follow. Go go blow his shit up. Go fucking drop some love on his page. Hey, go go crazy. That's what that's that's what you need to do. Cause man, he pulled up here. He drove, man, what like 50 minutes away? It was 55, yeah. Hey, almost an hour drive. So hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hey, it's only the first first episode, but hey, like I said, the first of many. The first of many. Uh, and like I said, he's got he's got a couple tracks I want y'all to hear. So uh, without further ado, jump into that next one. This one's uh, Raw featuring Cam How. I dropped this shit on 420. Uh, completely different style. This is the one I recorded at Bank Rose uh, with Spence. Uh, you know, this is the one that we did in like that hour. Yeah. So that being said, I mean, you know, I, I think it turned out pretty good. I yeah. thought it turned out pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely a new style for me though, because like you know, throughout my whole progression of music, like I I was only doing like trap music, so this is like my first time really ever doing something that wasn't trap. So you know, yeah. it's, it's a different sound to me. But I how did you how did you meet Cam? Me and Cam went to school. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I went to school with Cam. And I went to school with OG. Uh, you know, Cam's done some pretty big things though. So you know, it was it was definitely cool getting in the studio with them. Uh, he, he definitely had a good influence on me. He he helped me break down structures and shit a little bit better too. So uh, he definitely had a huge influence on me as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I love hearing it. Yeah, no. So I mean, he he's gonna be pulling up the V two pretty sure. Yep, he's uh, he's performing after you, I believe. Yeah, he he's supposed to be. Uh, we got a couple more songs we're supposed to be cooking out together too soon. Yeah, before yeah, before the uh before the EP or is it gonna be on the EP? It's not gonna be on the EP. Just some extra sauce for later. Yeah, just so I can release them throughout the year. Just some extra barbecue in the pantry. Just he's preparing for the long haul, folks. So yeah, you better get ready. Exactly, and you know, me and Cam, we got good chemistry. Like you know, I think you know our flows and styles can definitely like complement each other. And you know, I, I definitely I definitely felt it working with Cam. Oh yeah. So I'm about to play this shit. Real yeah, quick. this track's called Raw. Make sure you check it out now. All platforms. I do not own the rights to this music, but my man does. Episode 78, Chase M's, Flint artist. Hey, go tap in and follow. Man, I'm in the zone. I feel alright. I'm smoking midnight, driving from the lights. Pop a bottle, I feel like Mike two, three with a buzzer beater. That's a crazy sight. I feel alright. I just have to pop the crib with my weed, trying to keep it cool today. I'm a two year family trip, but yeah, I know. I'm still counting stripes every day. Still remember days, nothing on my plate, made my money. Weighing up on a scale, had to lay some money down and double that. Had to make a fast flip, watch some money stack. Had to make a play like a quarterback. I was really moving by the bell. I ain't got no tears on this paper trail. I get all of that. Hit this joint, look, I hit that bitch. No, I did it. Yeah, raw. raw. Shots all in my belly. Let me bitch, I'm ready. ready. Bitch, I'm about my business. I got, got Machiavelli. Added to the hit. Hey, I'm coming way too heavy. heavy. Ball out like I'm ready. Smoking chronic, got you busy. Yeah. If I fuck it, cause she yeah. love me. Hey. First day that she met me. Hey. Bitch, that's not my kid. Nah. Bitch, that's not my baby. Nah. Blind nah. here like Stan. Nah. Blind nah. here nah. like Shady. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the type of nigga that'll drive a bitch crazy. I, I got no time to be lazy. Fuck it, I'ma be like Brady. Rolling in the league. Like, fuck it, hurry, pay me. I'm a motherfucking beast. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, don't try to play me. Huh. Bitch, I'm not your league. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, I'm not your baby. Can't hide. Man, I'm hella stoned. I feel alright. I'm smoking midnight. Driving from the lights. Pop a bottle. I feel like Mike. Two, three. With a buzzer beater. That's a crazy sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel alright. I just have to fuck the crib with my weed, trying to keep it cool today. I'm 
fucked, we can feel me trippin' Yeah, I know, I'm still cutting stripes every day Yeah, Chase M's, raw Go check that shit out on all platforms Cause hey, you gonna like that shit You gonna like that shit It might, it might sound a little distorted on this shit But hey, just know Your car, your car that's, that's the best place to, to test out some music. And I've heard this shit in the car. Like a goddamn chef's kiss after some tearing basu in the, in, the, in the long kitchen hours. That shit's fire. Fire! Serve it up! Serve it up at Dyson to everyone! Certified. Definitely. Certified banger. As uh, Apollo would say it, you know? Certified banger. Hashtag it. Definitely. Yeah. So, uh, the next song, uh, I'm only going to play a snippet of it. because I Only a snippet. Because it's, it's some unreleased shit now. So you can't, hey, but you get a little bit of a little bit of a preview on FGP, cause that's that's the that's the benefits of uh, of tapping in with my man. So make sure make sure you go do the same shit. Follow, subscribe, go show some love, show his page, blow it up. I wanna I wanna I wanna see everything, man, for real. I wanna see that shit jump, and and that's just not that's just not to say because he's on the show. That's just you know because I love the energy. He's a he's a humble dude. He's genuine about his shit. He's hey, I love I love the the the, the energy we got together right now. So definitely. it's definitely it's much more deeper than a podcast, bro. Like I said, however I can, however I can be an asset to you, you know, like any way, just say the word, you know, like call me anytime, bro. Definitely. For real, no, I appreciate that for sure. For real, no, I appreciate all the love I get, you know, as an artist. I mean, coming up because it definitely gives me more motivation to keep dropping. Facts, shit. don't stop. All yeah. gas, no brakes. Don't don't let up. Definitely. But I'm excited. You know, I mean, Spence, you know, he's he's talked to me a little bit about it. You know, he keeps saying, like, I'm getting better. And, you know, I don't know if he's just saying that to me or, you know, if he, you know, if he's ever promoted my name around. But That's what I'm saying. He, uh, he, he, you know, he does his thing. And, you know, I, I definitely appreciate his feedback to me, at least. So. He's definitely, uh, so that's like I said off camera, you know, is he's, he's one of those artists that'll tell you, like, oh, shit, you know, because, like, I got a perception of a couple artists. I was like, oh, you know, like, they're pretty good, you know. But he sees them completely different, you know. Like, hey, these guys are workers. They're, you know, like, I know that's only the one show you got. But, the, hey, they're workers. They're out here doing shit. So, and it's like, when you book talent, you're almost like, okay, do I want someone that maybe is going to show up? Maybe is iffy about this shit? Or do I want to, hey, sign me up. I'm there. Like yourself, you know. Like, then we call those go-getters, man. And you're a go-getter, you know. So, like, yeah. I respect the grind. I respect all that shit. So, like. Like I said, volume two, A, hey, and future volumes, man. I definitely want to have you on. You know, just this is the first of many. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah, no. I, this is just the first one. After yep. that, I plan on getting better and better at performing. Hell you yeah. know, I, I'm definitely looking you'll forward see, to this. You'll see some shit tonight. There's a, my man, he's like my brother, man, for real. Uh, McNass and Melon Maid. He's, uh, he puts on a hell of a show. Hell of a show. And like his stage, I, I feel like you'll be inspired, you know, like watching him perform just because like he goes so fucking crazy and like brings the crowd to him like it's, it's dope Definitely. you know he's got a show uh may 7th he's gonna be opening up for twista and uh fgp myself i'm gonna literally record the whole entire fucking trip i'm gonna be on Damn. yeah i'm gonna be on stage i'm a fucking it's gonna be a movie it's I'm gonna, gonna be to a check movie. that shit out for yeah sure. it's gonna be the first my first you know like big shit i'm i'm able to do and I'm glad that I'm able to help my bro. You know, Definitely. like it's gonna be it's gonna be dope as fuck to be you know right there next to him supporting as he's fucking having the biggest moment of his life in music. You know, like no, that's crazy. Big shit, no, Twister. You know, Twister, him. right? Yeah, no, I've heard of Twister. Yeah. Oh, shout out to shout out to him, man. Yeah, yeah. shout out McNass. Make sure yeah. you come on out to the show. Shout it's his birthday. Him. It's his goddamn birthday weekend. So come the fuck on out and support. April twenty third is the day. Today is the day. Doors open at six, y'all. Sky Room, Washington, Washington Lanes, on Washington uh, Avenue. So, go check it out. I promise you, it's gonna be worth it. But I got two tickets too. I will, I will uh, provide two tickets to anybody who uh, wants to go to the show. You know, I'm, I, I've said that a couple times, but I'm gonna make it a, a, more, a bigger announcement uh, after this, after the show. So, but yeah. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna let my man play this track so you can hear this shit. What's the name of this? It's, uh, Minute Maid, right? Yeah, this is Minute Maid. Uh, we might have to cut out just a part right here, just so I know where we're going to play the snippet from. Okay. Uh, so we'll just do a wave real quick. Okay. Just so I, just so we have the part that, what part were you What part do you not want to hear? I don't care. I'm saying like, because I don't, I only want to play like 30, like 20 to 30 seconds at most. Oh yeah, well, we'll yeah, play whatever you want to play and then uh, 
Yeah, we'll just run that. Do you uh do you remember what uh part you wanted to hear? You can just play whatever. Minute Man, y'all, it's an unreleased track. You get a little sample of it right here, but don't get used to it. Hey, it's exclusive shit. It's exclusive as fuck. So I understand why he's gotta he's gotta make sure y'all ain't screen recording that you know getting that good juice before the fucking fruit is finished. Yeah. Yeah, I've had uh, some artists who play like whole, whole on the shit. It'd yeah. be crazy. Yeah. Hey, that's all you get to hear, y'all. But like I said, go check them out. Chase M's. Available on all platforms. Instagram, you can go check him out. He's got uh, he's got some content building up, man. If you didn't, if you didn't get that 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 shit through this podcast, you'll understand it soon. Definitely. I mean, I plan on only releasing more and more. You'll hear you hear you'll hear you'll hear a lot more about him. I promise you that. You know, definitely from FGP, and uh, I'm sure he's going to be making some noise where you'll you'll see some of our uh, videographers and photographers. They'll definitely be catching you in action on uh, on June fifth. That's gonna be crazy. We got the content for sure. Sneak preview, y'all. Sneak preview. We gonna have not one, not two, but three news channels in the motherfucking house getting fucking coverage of the event. Damn. So we got WNEM, we got ABC twelve, and we got TV five. Gonna be there. So make sure you come on out. It's gonna be big, y'all. I promise you. Tri City Vintage Flea Market. If you don't see this banner, just know we're here for the long haul. Vendors, hit me up. Artists, hit me up. If you're trying to be featured, I'm trying to I'm trying to showcase y'all talent. All artists will be paid. You know, uh, you know, we got we got Spencer breaking it down. You know, uh, fifty cents to a dollar dollar a minute per artist. You know what I'm saying? So, you're getting paid for every single minute you're out there. So, hey, and there's ways to uh, you know make additional additional dollars as well from you know merch sales and you know raffle tickets as well. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of moving pieces. We still are uh, about 41 days in a wake up away, June 5th. So, hey, stick with us. It's gonna be a good time all year, all summer, and he's gonna kick it off. Definitely. So I'm looking forward to that for sure. Yeah. Anything you wanna uh, you wanna close out and uh, let the people know? Uh, just stay tuned. Minute Maid drops. Uh, what is it? May 13th. Friday. Bow, bow, bow. May yeah. 13th. Friday the 13th. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna have uh, some spooky, spooky shit for it? He said, you got to stay tuned. I don't know, honestly. Just just go fuck with it, genuinely. That's Hell all yeah. I say. Where can they, where can they pre-order it? Uh, you'll be able to pre-order it on Spotify. I will post that on my Insta, Chase M's Music, uh, when it's ready. And it'll be in my link, in my bio. Hell yeah. So go tap in. I'll drop his page. I'm going to drop it probably a lot of times. You can't miss it. I'll probably, I'll probably tag it 10 times. So make sure you go tap in. Make sure you go show some love. Chase M's, Flint artist. Hey, Flint, Michigan, man. It's got a lot of fucking talent. Yeah, oh, it, it do got a lot of talent for sure. Who, um, who's some who's some talent that uh that you that you think that uh is is coming up or is uh grinding and getting getting some making some noise? I'm not just saying it because I worked with him, but like Cam's actually got some pretty good shit. He's fire. He he's got some good shit. So like, you know, I think a lot of people sleep on him yeah. for sure. He he he's solid. Uh, yeah, Cam's definitely one. I mean, obviously, everyone knows Rio. Rio's good. Yeah. Rio's fire. You know Kid? Kid. Uh, Josh McK McKay or something like that? No, I don't he's like a, He's like a long-haired dude. He's like a... He's got like a big old beard and shit. He's just like smooth. It's like K-Y-D-D. No, I don't sound too familiar. Damn, he's from Flint, too. Really? Yeah, that motherfucker went and like did a uh, shit with Jaron Benton. From you know Jaron Benton? Yeah, I've heard from, of him. From uh what was it? Uh he makes music with Dizzy Wright and shit. Dizzy yeah. Wright and Hobson. Yeah, I forgot the uh, group name of the group, but yeah, he made uh music with Jaron Benton from that uh group. That's crazy. Yeah, from Flint too. Fire, dude. Damn. Yeah, play that shit. Look that shit up. Yeah, look that shit up. If you don't know kid, you're sleeping. Right there in your backyard.
But that's a kid. After saving with customized car insurance from Liberty Mutual, I customize everything. Like Marco's backpack. Download the Domino's app today and become a piece of the Pi Rewards member to earn points toward free pizza. He looks familiar. I didn't know he was from Florida. Fire. This is a song with, uh, I do not own the rights to this music. This track is called Endgame. Kid and, uh, Jaren Benton, man. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been listening to Kid for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Icy hot. This should, this should, this is a fire ass video right here. Go check this one out, man. I do not own the rights to this music, but go check it out on YouTube. Icy hot by Kid. K Y D D. I'm hot. Blue flame. Grind for the dub, Wu Tang, start a ride in the club, two chains, my pack for the fruit, no Kool Aid. I'm cool, so you straight. In my section, the law for us too late. I'm like, you know, back court. Like, 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 come out of here, bitch, you know, I'm gonna get it. I'm flipping shit like it's a macrobatic. Try me, I subtract your ass like mathematics. Your bitch is average, I only fuck the baddest. I'm running and learning, I'm falling, no cabbage. See, I ain't no killer, but don't make me pop it. When I keep it loaded, I ain't got a cocky. We keep it for safety. This work can get crazy. Can't protect your babies if you push it down. I move my feet on a track like you say. Kick it like Luke Kane, hotter than a blue flame. Bitch, I got the club going up on a Tuesday. Fuck what you say, I'm slurring up the do say. I grew up on bread and baloney, now I open up my fridge and it's looking like a food bank. Just the little things like that I appreciate. Catch me on the like a second in my shoe game. Don't ask me for my future look like I'm just playing with the I'm the fucking oracle. I'm like cop a new rocket just to rock it. Homie, stop it. My life's value was unaffordable. I'm like fuck around the back of the boat. Just so I can go sail it up. I'm like, take a bitch on the trip with me till she had to get to know her. I get fucking bored with her. You better not test me and try me like I'm unpredictable. What am I do? I'm gonna look like 30 deep in a bunch of fucking hookies waiting for you. Turn your front yard to a motherfucking derby. We don't get this shit when we drive it, we swerve it. Bitch, I'm in the game in the bar like I'm Irving. Come up overnight like I did it on purpose. I'm hot. Blue flame, grind for the dub, Wu Tang, start a ride in the club, two chains, live pack for the fruit, no Kool Aid. I'm cool, so you straight, leave my section alone for it's too late. And you know that I rep the me and I come out of here, but you know I'ma get it up. I'm hot, blue flame, grind for the dub, Wu Tang, start a ride in the club, two chains, live yeah, pack for the fruit, no Kool Aid. I'm cool, so you straight, leave my section alone like for it's too late. And you know that I rep the me and I come out of here, but you know I'ma get it up. Yeah, like right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was on that shit for a minute. Yeah, let's go. Jump in the game, no cheat codes. Oh, you a high brother, I'm Devo. Heard the girl in the swimming like Nemo. Slide in her D-Cones like an Evo. So high, I'm flying like an eagle. I stay 100 like a C-Note. Love me a bad bitch, thick and deep throat. I'ma put her on down like a free throw. That Aston Martin's on this way, fuck what you talking about. Four car garage and marble floors inside my fucking house. I came a long way from roaches in that microwave. We use the oven just to warm us when the furnace. Oh, well, you got this? That's nonsense. I'm a motherfucking monster like this. No sense in the street, but when it comes to work, they're moving the big birds like an ostrich. Ooh, tell me what you want to do. Look like I'm killing them. Ooh, hop in the whip. Do something fast and I start. Like, get out the way, bitch. Move. Uh, I'm moving Chris when you see me on the highway. That's a double the tundra. Fuck it, I'm under. The young fool wants to bend through with the kids loopers. Roll up on a motherfucker like thunder. I strike on my light and you better be careful. I think it's exciting when motherfuckers take my promise for weakness. You'll remember me your whole life more than likely. Cause I was surprised you with something that you never seen. If you test it, bring this shit by me. Don't Take me like this, cause I will bring darkness to anyone causing a problem. I got a city beside me, you really don't really want problems. We crazy in the Wednesday in the silence. You pop like a wheelie, I promise. Just on a city to silence. Boy, we accustomed to violence. I'm back on my bullshit like it's a primitive instinct. The shoot at your feet and have you and your homies all dancing like in sync. I'm a alpha male, I got a cop for sale. I better rock the bell, then I'ma knock your cell. You never stop the bell, like I'm Bob and Bill. I better drop your building just to piss on your asses after I burn your ceiling. I got music dropping. Like I'm clumsy with this shit. You know I get it popping. Like Cosby Ruthie in the bitch. Oh, what now? You offended? It's called a joke. It's not a dick. You don't gotta take it so hard. Your name ain't Jenna Jameson. And this ain't even the tip of the iceberg. This fuck what you might hurt. You flip like a visor. So don't fucking fight words. No tingy, but I tell them killers your right third. You think that I'm playing the say it to say it. I tell you what. Ask your girl if she likes oranges, the new black. Cause I come in pipe fur. So many rappers are tired, but they never succeeded in being the meanest motherfucker. Better walk up in the booth and compose like Genius, you don't want to see me coming. I'm a gun it as soon as I get up on the track and speak. Fuck what you think? Fuck what you think? Did I get on a racket and not fucking eat? Bitch, that's how I eat this kid, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, that was fire. Yo, hey, we shot the, we shot the music down, man. Hey, drop the mic. Hey, let him let him know, man. Flint has got some fucking talent, but the whole goddamn state has got some talent. Minton, Minton visuals, Minton vintage, Minton all the goddamn artists in the Minton. There's so much goddamn talent in this fucking state. It's unbelievable.
it's crazy. You know, and it's just like, there's, we just scratching the surface of like, man, yeah, it's crazy. Appreciate you coming through the set, man. Oh, I appreciate it for sure. Make sure you go sh check them out. Like I said, for the for the for the million time, I'm not gonna say it no more. This is the last time, but episode seventy eight, Chase M's in the motherfucking house. Flint artist, all the way down I seventy five. He drove right to come here, about an hour away. So make sure y'all go show him some love and y'all go tap in. Y'all go subscribe to his channel. Y'all go follow him on the gram. Y'all go show him some love and listen to his music. He's got a couple tracks and he's debuting some new music come August. So hey. Next time you'll be hearing more about him, you'll be seeing him. Might be soon. Might be tonight at the show. But definitely expect to see him at June 5th at the Tri-City Vintage Flea Market Volume 2. Opening shit up on the summer showdown. 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 <laughs> showdown. Showdown. It's going to be a good one, y'all. So, yeah. But, yeah, appreciate you again, man. Oh, definitely appreciate hey. it. Thanks for having me. Hey, hell yeah. It's time. It's time to get fried.